Okay, we've gone out the Porta Fiorentina and we're just going to go straight. Italians still love their Fiat Pandas. Unbelievable. Mushy. Yeah. And there is the current dig site for the archaeological uh, ex excavation of the Roman amphitheatre. It's said to sit in maybe up to 10,000, maybe more. Maybe I get a chance to visit it someday. another of the free car parks really meant for cemetery goers though the panda yeah you can't really see too much beyond the trees here Closed. This is the cemetery.
impressive. It's lovely looking. Speaking of lovely looking. This is the Porta Diana. I think of it as the sister gate to the Porta Larco on the other side of town. It's missing its arch, but you can see the huge Etruscan blocks. So some of those are 2,500 plus years old. Not a bad bit of work. hazy today so seeing detail in the distance a bit tricky. view. As you can see we're actually leaving the, the town itself. Just about make out the balze, the cliffs. completely open vineyards and olive grove 
I don't want to diss my own country again, but how long would that produce remain there <laughs> if it was in Ireland, untouched? Amazing to hear the countryside. Last time I walked this road, a deer crashed out in front of me, coming from the upper Olive Grove, you can just barely make out, and leaping down to the lower one. Being a city boy, I hadn't a clue what to do, so I just stayed stock still, and it was probably more frightened than me, in fairness. Here, another shot of the Balze. This whole area, I think, is really part of uh, an Etruscan necropolis, so you might find some structures that are definitely handmade. Which may once have been tombs. essentially Tuscan view. Hills, hills and more hills. And more tombs. any agritourism around the area. We still have a little bit to go. Here we are. There are a couple of tombs here. I'm just going to go to the one that's easiest to get to. Although, maybe I'll go to both. I'll have to turn on my light for this, let's see. It's partially lit. It smells like damp earth.
keep it lit all the time. It's pretty impressive. Last time I was here, I got spooked. A plastic water bottle in my back pocket made a noise. I didn't know what it was, and I practically leapt back up the stairs like an idiot. That's it. Completely ransacked, obviously. Two and a half thousand plus years old, most likely. Let's maybe take a look at another one. The footing's a bit wobbly on these stairs, and the stairs are very high. Each step. <clears throat> you got a view, good view of San Justo Church. From here. It's a ways to climb back to Volterra. Seems to be a much larger one. First, fourth of the first century BC. Oh, stairs are tricky. Being a city boy, my night sight is dreadful. Hello, anyone dead? so cool down here compared to outside. And that's that. Okay, all that's left now is a walk back. Hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe. Or, if it's found footage, drop a few shekels onto the GoFundMe page that will be set up by Neve for my body's repatriation. Thanks a lot.